Hey there, YouTubers. It's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about shielded and unshielded Ethernet cable and the differences between them, termination hardware, where you would use unshielded versus shielded, and some of the considerations around installation. So, be right back. Don't go away. We've got unshielded cable and we've got shielded cable. So obviously what draws your eyes immediately is that uh, these are both Cat5e cables. Uh, the shielded cable is typically going to be thicker uh, than unshielded. And with unshielded cable, the construction is very simple. Um, again, we're talking about Cat5e, so there's no internal spline. But otherwise, this is going to be pretty much the same as any other, whether it's Cat6 or Cat6a. Uh, you'll have a rip cord in the cable. Uh, you'll have these four pairs of eight wires uh, twisted into blue and orange, brown, and green. The pair twists actually uh, do impart a bit of electromagnetic shielding to the cable, and so does the cable jacket. So to call this unshielded cable is a bit of a misnomer because Ethernet cable is by definition uh, kind of self-shielding because these conductors cancel each other or cancel electromagnetic fields out. So as long as they're not overwhelmed, um, this will function just fine in the vast majority of environments. When you do run across an environment that uh, unshielded is just not suitable for, well, that's gonna leave you with shielded cable. And so shielded cable, the first thing you're gonna notice besides the thickness is that there's this bluish uh, mylar backed foil shield and there's the rip cord right here. So we're going to kind of peel this back and show you what's inside. It's not anything amazing, trust me. Uh, once you peel back this foil shield, you're going to notice that there's also a tinned copper drain wire. And this drain wire makes contact with the inside of the cable shield all the way along its length. And this serves primarily as the ESD drain ground. Um, and then the shield is uh, bonded with this wire. So a bonded means it's making a low impedance electrical contact. So um, typically you'll use the uh, drain wire and shield in combination when bonding to termination hardware, although you can also remove the cable shield and then just simply use the drain wire with some copper uh, tape, copper fabric tape, stuff like that. So in the case of the shielded cable, it may have some additional dielectric wraps like this. When I mean dielectric, I mean non-conducting. And that is designed to uh, keep the conductors from actually touching the metal of the uh, shield itself. And then you'll have your typical uh, four pairs, uh, which we had on the other cable. So we got, our, we got our orange, green, blue, and brown. What the cable shield does is it prevents the uh, internal pairs here from being overwhelmed by what's called alien crosstalk. And that could be interference from another cable, uh, but more likely it's gonna be interference in electro electromagnetic fields found by uh, uh, maybe AC wiring inside of a wall. Uh, if you can't maintain an eight inch distance or perhaps uh, you're running uh, your cabling by uh, some powerful electrical motors or if you have a radio frequency problem in your area, you're living under high voltage power lines, uh, for example, shielded cable by itself does not increase performance over unshielded cable. So only use shielded when you know you need it and you're looking to avoid a specific problem because there are additional things uh, and issues uh, that come up with using shielded cable, such as bonding the cable shield to ground. Otherwise, the shield is not gonna do you any good. So, Plan your installation. Uh, your best way of avoiding electrical interference is to literally use distance to avoid it. Beyond that, I'm gonna say, uh, leave a comment in the section below or a question if you have some questions. Uh, subscribe to our channel, uh, ring that notification bell, check out our uh, website, truecable.com. We have a cable academy where most of these videos and, and blogs are hosted. And with that, I'm gonna say, you have a great day. Happy networking.